Hi guys! I'm Larry the Butcher! <coughs> I'm gonna try something different. Well, it's not different, it's renowned. I'm gonna make po' boys. Okay, po' boys are kind of the in thing and everyone's trying to dress it up. But, um, the history of a po' boy has to do more with poverty and, and the depression, um, than upscale food. Um, there are two legends I've heard. A woman owned a diner, and she was felt so sad for the unemployed boys who would come to and from the employment office to get relief. It's what they called welfare at the time. That she wanted to make a sandwich that all the po' boys could afford. The other story I heard is two retired transit workers opened a grocery store. Um, just prior to or just after the start of the Depression. And the city of New Orleans did not have the money to pay their, their transit drivers, so they were going to go on strike. And these grocers, these brothers, said that to the transit workers, if you come in with your badges and you don't go on strike, we will feed all of you poor boys. Poor boys. So that's how it started. Um, it's become more than what it is, but I'm going to try to do get as traditional as I can being up here in Canada. Anything you add to a pole boy, I believe is called grease. So we're going to work on the grease. This is going to be pulled lamb pole boys. I've got a couple lamb shanks here, a couple onions. I have about three hours to get this ready. This is going to be simple. Um, you can make this at home. I want you to make this at home. It doesn't have to be lamb, it could be any. Pulled pork, pulled beef. Um, I know oyster pole boys are really, really popular, especially in New Orleans. This, my friends, we're back on my Canon Vixius HFR700. The wonderful people at Canon were able to fix it, and it's back in my possession. I could have two cameras going right now, but I don't because I'm kind of lazy right now. I believe there's an Indy car race in New Orleans. Into the pot she goes. So, they're in the pot there. A little bit of sea salt. So, New Orleans is all about spicy. So, some onion powder. Yeah, I know, I know. I just threw onions in there. Sumi. Garlic powder. A little bit of black pepper. There we go. And I want, uh, mild curry. No. Chili powder would work. Chili is a southern thing. But I don't necessarily want to go that way. I don't quite want Italian spice. I do want cumin, though. You know I love my cumin. Cumin's also lamb and um, Middle Eastern spices. So so this this will be good with it. Some turmeric. Just a splash. I'll add these two lamb shanks. It's not much of a texture thing. It's lamb shanks that were in my freezer. A little bit of oil. Whoa, seasonings. Wow. Powerful stuff. Touch of sunflower oil. Maybe a little too much. Half a bottle of beer. So it's above medium. I got the timer set for 10 minutes, so hopefully it comes to a boil. And then I'll set it down. Um, then I'll work on uh, the filling, uh, which is more traditional. Potatoes! I may as well cut them now. Four good sized potatoes. My goal here is to leave the skin on. Here's a little bit of kit I haven't used yet. Always keep one of these stools in your kitchen. You don't quite know when you're going to need them. There we go. So about uh, an hour's gone by. The, the lamb is successfully separated from the bone. It's pulled. I got this nice dark broth going on, uh, partly due to the beer and the onion and the garlic, uh, partly due to the fact that I forgot about it for a bit. It's gorgeous though. So what I'm doing now, over here, is I've got some flour and some butter, and I believe what I'm doing is called uh, bien marie. And what happens is that the butter and the flour will coat each other. So I'm going to throw it in there. 
and it's going to make one freaking incredible gravy. Ta -da. Mix it up, watch it melt. Gravy award will be achieved. I gotta go get the boys. I gotta get some um, buns. Um, we'll get back at this. So the boys are home. Um, I'm starting on the next couple stages. Um, you will notice water's boiling. And oh, I gotta go to the van. Okay, I'm back. I left the buns in the van. Here they are. An authentic New Orleans poor boy would use a French French bread. I'm using sub buns. Why am I using sub buns? First off, saw them. Second off, part of what this channel is to be adventurous with what you normally have and what you normally have access to. More people will have buy sub buns on the regular than uh, French sticks or French loaves or whatever. But use whatever kind of bread you like. Got some aluminium, or as I like to call, conspiracy theory paper. Some of the purists will cut the ends off so it's squared and it's not crusted at the end. I'm cheap. You guys have probably figured out. So I'm going to leave them on. But I am not going to be cheap about the butter here. The ideal would be to use a compound garlic butter. Add just enough garlic powder. Hi. Hi. So the idea is I'm going to uh, blanch the potatoes in water for two minutes, straight to the deep fryer for four minutes. Hopefully that gives me something that's not toxic potatoes. A proper poor boy, po a proper po' boy, I would have breaded the uh, potatoes. I'm not going to today, because I've, I've run out of room. On to the next stage. Our pre-boiled, carefully, let the liquid boil out. Let me tell you a little bit about deep fryer safety. I've made all the mistakes you can. Um, for great cup, Seven years ago, I was doing fried chicken, um, and I didn't in one of these pots here. And I was on my last my last batch, and I was getting, um, and I threw the last batch in. I guess I threw some liquid in, and up it overflowed, and it set my stove on fire. True story. Um, this is not the same stove. Um, the other is, you know, I learned my lesson. Got the deep fryer for Father's Day. I also have a propane powered deep fryer for, for camping. Like it's not it's not much bigger than this one. Um, so we took it up north and we had french fries the one night for dinner. It was awesome. And we recycled, we went to go reuse the oil, and what happened was it stayed outside overnight, so it got that layer of water. And um, I put it in this deep fryer, and as the oil was heating up, the water superheated, because that's what water does, and then I don't want to replicate it, you know what I mean? I've learned those lessons hard. Hello? How long were you going to wait before you say hello? <laughs> Why not? Normally when you pick up your, the phone you go, hello, even though you know who it is, or you go, hi, whoever it is. How was school? How was school? Good, What? You? where are you? It sounds like you're in an echo chamber. I'm making po' boys. Um, can I call you back later? I'm going to give Brandon a plate of french fries. Okay, and I'm going to finish up the video. We're recording right now. I may leave some of this in the video. Some francs because I put this shit on everything. Okay, guys, here goes. I don't know if I've actually ever had a po' boy. The lamb is incredible. 
this isn't really a tra this is not a tra it's traditional in the sense that it has potatoes in it but it's not traditional in the sense that it's not a French loaf um, and that I've got lamb instead of just gravy and I'm using mayonnaise instead of garlic aioli so but cheers friends This will be available at Larry the Butcher's Sidewalk Sandwich Cafe for $6.99 with a pop. Wow. Can't stop eating. Now I understand why they're celebrated. My god, that's incredible. And think about how versatile this is. This is one of those leftover meals. <clears throat> Even for a restaurant. See, I don't want to waste any of it. Pulled pork, po' boy, seafood po' boy, um, <clears throat> shaved beef po' boy, pulled lamb po' boy. If you've got a restaurant or if you've got, you got leftovers at home, do this. I thought about putting cheese on this and I didn't. I don't think it needs it. This was incredible. You have to try this. Wow. This is really good. <laughs> I, of course, as always, am Larry the Butcher. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me concoct something in my kitchen. Don't forget to like this episode, because this episode was awesome. They may be one of the best ones I've ever done. Comment down below. Have you had a po' boy? Have you had an actual po' boy in New Orleans? Tell me what it's like. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just below my finger. Share this on all your favorite social media, and don't forget to track me down on social media. And you know what? Let's keep a discussion going about making really incredible food at home. I think this was less than $7 for all of them. Thank you guys once again. Hunt me down. We'll see you later. Bye.